Hi, now that we have seen how to simply do blinking of an LED on the ESP32 board or the HUSA32 board by Ada Cruz, let's try to understand what exactly happened over there onto the board. Now to do so, I'll need at least a schematic model or something of ESP32 to show you. But before that, let me explain you what happens. So when we write pin mode 13 comma output, as I explained to you before, this will make pin 13 work as output pin. Now, there are multiple different pins which are mentioned onto the board or even in this GPIO sheet. So which one you should use? Should you use this ABC number or should you use this GPIO number? So ideally and practically for most purposes, we will be using this GPIO numbers with which the pins are very easily accessible in Arduino board. So first of all, 13 is what this GPIO number that we are referring to in our program. Now when you write pin mode 13 comma output, it simply means that pin number 13 will act as output pin. It can drive current, it can generate voltages. And now the next question is, what voltages? So when you write digital write pin number 13 comma high, we have written that LED is turned high, but why? Because when you write pin number 13 comma high, then pin 13 becomes 3.3 volt. That is the logic 1 voltage for feather 32 or across all the ESP32 chips. Logic 1 stands for 3.3 volt and when you write that pin as low, it means the pin becomes 0 volt. It means close to ground potential. Now when it becomes 3.3 volt, the LED turns on. Now what does that exactly mean? Now to understand that, let's try to see the schematic of ESP32 okay so here I have the schematic of ESP32 just try to look at this section over here so we can see there is a resistor and an LED which are connected to IO13 IO13 is the pin number 13 which we referred to so when we write digital write 13 comma high what happens is this pin becomes 3.3 volt there is a resistor LED and the cathode of that LED is going to ground. This is the red LED that we have observed onto the board. I can also show it to you now it's working. So this pin number 13 here which is blinking is this one here. Now what it means is it means if adapter can connect an LED like this on board then we can also definitely connect multiple such LEDs apart from the board or outside the board and we can blink them. So let's see what I'm talking about. For all these purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an online software to show you schematics. I will also be including those schematics into the master presentation so that you don't have to worry about a lot of different documentation. So uh, a PDF here and a schematic there. No, everything will be there in the single presentation file. For now, let's go to the schematic that I have tried to prepare. So this is how you can create a schematic. Now this is only for connecting four LEDs to ESP32. But likewise, you can connect any number of LEDs or whatever number of LEDs you want to prefer. An LED must be connected with a series resistor to the pin of ESP32. Whenever you give high on that pin, it will become 3.3. This 1K resistor will limit the current flowing through the LED to 3.3 milliamperes and your LED should turn on. Likewise, you can connect this one, this one, this one. The cathode of the LED should go to ground and anode should come to the controller pin. The placement of resistor is your choice. You can keep the LED first, resistor later or resistor first and LED later. Many of the designers, mostly newcomers have a confusion that we have to have LED first and then the resistor or oh, sorry we have to have the resistor first and then the LED there is nothing like that I have just created this to make it simpler however just to make the point clear here there is no difference in connecting it like this and this the current only flows when your circuit is closed so it doesn't matter whether you connect the resistor before or later what matters is you must connect the resistor for sure now, 
If you create a circuit like this on a breadboard using LEDs and resistor, then you will be able to blink four different LEDs at a time also. What kind of code you will write for it? See here. Here we have pin number 12, 27, 33 and 15. I have checked all these pins can be used as digital output pin. And therefore, you can use pin number 12, 27, 33 and 15 in your program and you can modify your code accordingly. So let's try to create another program here. I will just try to close this one. Now instead of referring to them as pin numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some proper names. Let's say LED1, LED2. So to, to do that, it's very simple. Just write int LED1 is equal to 12. And similarly, copy paste it three more times. I use a mechanical keyboard, so I guess that will be a problem for you. You might be hearing some ticks, but it feels very nice when you write the code. 273315. 27, 13. Okay, I'm using the 33 and 15. 13, 33, and 15. Now, if you are using four LEDs at a time, or for that matter, eight LEDs at a time, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is you need to do pin mode of each one. So pin mode LED1 comma output. Now in the similar context, you will go on LED2, LED3 and LED4. You have to make sure to make all of them work as output pin. Without that, you cannot generate output on the spins. Now let's assume that I want to make all of those pins high at a time and then low after some delay. So what I'll do is I'll write digital write LED1 comma high. Again, I will do a lot of copy pasting and I expect you to do the same. Don't become a typewriter, be a programmer. Okay. A very classic cliche line used by software industry, but it is true indeed. So all of them made high and now all of them I'll make low. I don't even type low multiple times. That's it. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to download that into ESP32 board. All I have to do is all the settings are there already. It is ESP32 feather, COM10, everything is there. So just click on the upload button. Okay. Before that, you have to save this code. So I have created a folder for it. Let me call it four LEDs. So it's been saved. Now you will notice the yellow LED will blink very fast after the compilation is done and then the code will be downloaded. Now as you can see, the program has been uploaded onto the board and the one which was blinking before pin number 13 had stopped. Now these pins 12, 27, 33, 15 are now blinking. But now what do I do with it? I will have to create a schematic like this on breadboard. So you need registers and you need LEDs in order to create this kind of schematic. When creating the course, I want things to be simpler for myself and faster so that I can demonstrate you. That's why I'm going to show you that I have created a very simple interfacing board. Okay, It looks like this. I have created this particularly for my own purpose. I will share with you the schematic as well as the layout also so that you can create one for yourself. The benefit of this board is it has got, let me take the camera out and I will explain it to you better. So as you can see here, it has got 8 LEDs over here, then I have got 4 switches, then I have a relay, a buzzer, there is LCD, there is a real time clock, there is motor driver, there are lots of interfacing stuffs over here. So if I use this one, then it will probably make my life easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this ESP32 into a breadboard so that I can take wires out of it and I will make the connections. However, 
please note that the connections remain exactly same like this as you can see on screen just give me a moment and i'll make the connections hi now as you can see i have made the connections from this interfacing board towards my adafruit feather 32 board all i have done is common the grounded of uh, or made the ground of these two boards common and then this four pins over here pin number 12 27 33 and 15 are connected to four different leds my board might be getting a bit older so the brightness of leds is different but you can see the difference you can see the blinking at least now let me try something different let me make it 500 and 500 as my delay let's see if you can notice the change immediately the code is being uploaded now the compiling is going on and it's uploading now and the uploading is done Can you notice over here in this window? So, okay. All of them are blinking high, low, high, low, high, low with a delay of 5 seconds. Sorry, 500 millisecond. So, this is just for the understanding of how do we generate output on multiple pins on ESP32 board. In the upcoming few sessions, we will see how we can interface with buzzer, relay, switches and lot many different things. Thank you for watching this video guys and please refer to this schematic when you are creating your particular experiment. Thank you.